Yo, man, this is your boxing genius from SBMboxing.com. You know, ever since the fight Saturday, you know, I've been going around YouTube and reading a couple of uh, uh, comments and looking at a couple of videos all over the place, you know, all over the place. You know, and there's some good videos and some bullshit videos. But, you know, there are the comments that people are saying and uh, commentators are saying is that Jacobs got robbed. You know, Daniel Jacobs did not get robbed. You know, Daniel Jacobs just lost the fucking fight. You know, look at the scores, CompuBox that I have here in front of you, and, you know, you tell me about it. You know, you tell me exactly how you figure out that Daniel Jacobs lost the fight. I mean, I respect your opinion, you know, whoever thinks that he got robbed, whoever thinks he won the fight, there's no fucking way, you know, it was a close fight, I give Daniel Jacobs credit, Daniel Jacobs is a hell of a fighter, he more or less showed me that he is really good, and he belongs up there with the 160 elite, okay, he's not a guy that's to be played with, you know. Even though he came out at 180, it is not a fucking excuse for anybody to say or comment, oh, that motherfucker was too big, he shouldn't even be fighting Triple G, that's fucked up, and that's why he didn't get knocked out. I don't want to hear that shit, you know? Daniel Jacobs is an excellent fighter, an elite fighter. It's like Roy Jones Jr. stated, you know? The guy is good. You cannot take anything away from him by we criticizing him, or let's say by you criticizing him, whoever's criticizing him, and saying that he's too big, that he used his bulliness against Triple G because he was bigger. Hey, fuck it. It happened. It happened. Bottom line is that Triple G won and that Daniel Jacobs lost. But again, we cannot take that away from him. Daniel Jacobs. What we do is we make him seem as though he's no fucking good. We're looking for Triple G to get his 24th consecutive knockout. You know, when we're looking for this and we're saying that, ah, Triple G fucked up. He knocked out Jacobs. It's not that he didn't knock out Jacobs because Triple G is actually losing it or Triple G got slower or Triple G is not the same two or three years ago. No, it is that he's fighting a different caliber fighter. This guy is good. Daniel Jacobs is good. He's not a David Lemieux. The David Lemieux stood in the pocket and brought it out with this guy. Daniel Jacobs said, fuck no. He went in and out. Yes, he did at times stay in the pocket and brawled it. And you know what happened? He got put on the floor. He not knocked out. He got put on the floor. People say it was a slip. No, it was not a slip. He felt that punch. Likewise, he would get in the pocket and slug it out. Then he would go and do his jab. He would switch also from the South Pole to back to Orthodox. You know, it had Triple G off balance. And at the same time, it's not the off balance. It's the style that he was bringing to him. He surprised him. Not to say, because I've read before the fight, somewhere around there, that yes, Daniel Jacobs was scared. Of Triple G. He had fear. He had the fear that when you say you're facing Triple G, he is not a joke. You know, he, he know he fought and he's beaten 23 guys, the last 23 by knockout. So who are you not to tell me that you ain't afraid to go into the fucking ring with Triple G? Same shit happened when, you know, when Tyson was around. Just to mention the fact you were fighting Tyson, you were scared shit. You might have been pissing on your fucking pants before you got to the fucking ring. You know, things of that nature. So please, let's not take shit away from Daniel Jacobs. Please stop criticizing all over the fucking tube that this is uh, white supremacist shit and that uh, because he's white, uh, they didn't give the fight to Jacobs. Fuck all that bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? You guys know the boxing genius. I am Puerto Rican. I am straight up. I'm not biased, man. You know, when Danny Garcia fought Keith Thurman, just because I was fucking Puerto Rican didn't mean I was going for Danny Garcia. 
I would like for him to have win. That's not the fucking question people ask me. You're asking me who the fuck is, do I think is going to win. Well, guess what? I said Keith Diamond, right? Everybody else, Puerto Ricans in the island, my cousins, my uncles, everybody tell me, you know, you fucked up, man. You're not Puerto Rican. That is not the fucking question. The question you ask me is, who do you think is going to win? Keith Thurman, obviously. So what does that tell you, man? That tells you just because I'm Puerto Rican, same shit happened with Miguel Cotto fighting Canelo. Hey, I said Canelo's going to beat his ass. What happened? Canelo beat his ass. Oh, man, that's fucked up. You, 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 know, you don't go for your fellow home country, man. Hey, that is not the fucking question you asked me. The question you asked me was, who do I think is going to win the fucking fight? Bottom line, Canelo had nothing to do with being a Puerto Rican, okay? And Danny Garcia went to Puerto Rico. I said, Maria Herrera beat his ass. And he did. They gave him the fight. That's my fucking opinion, man. And like I say to people, you got to respect this shit just like I respect yours. But don't say that Daniel Jacobs is not a good. He got robbed. There ain't no fucking robbery. I've seen Robbie the fight before that. The same fucking card, the undercard. With the pound for pound king. Ramon Chocolatito Gonzalez. He got fucking robbed. That's what I call a robbery. That was obvious. But that's boxing, man. That's your opinion, someone else's opinion, my opinion, a commentator's opinion. There's a lot of opinions involved. People do give opinions in boxing. And whoever gives opinions in boxing, a lot of people who give opinions in boxing, guess what? Don't know a motherfucking thing about boxing. Why? Because you are a fan of that boxer. But obviously you don't know fucking boxing. Because if you see the fight, you will see that Daniel Jacobs lost. Simple as that. David Letterman, 114-112. Hey, you can't get any better than that score of a card, man. That man knows how to score his shit. You know, look at the company box that I showed you before. Ask yourself that question. Forget about black, white, Chinese, Mexican, all this shit that you people talk about. Look at the fucking fight and you judge yourselves one more time. What's happening? How you see the fight? Who threw the false punches? Who had the power punches? Yes, and don't forget, people, please. Just because you throw 20 punches in a flurry, or 10, how many of the motherfuckers landed, is my question. It's not how many you have thrown. It says it, CompuBox, landed. You could, I could throw 20 punches. How many motherfuckers land? That's why in baseball, you get three strikes. You swing at the fucking ball three times. It's called what? A strikeout. You ain't hit the motherfucker. But yet you swung three times. So come on, people. Let's let's be for real, man. I'm talking about baseball, man. My country, Puerto Rico. You see, here, here, I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan. Here, because I do want Puerto Rico to win the World Baseball Classic. That's another fucking story. That's another thing that we can talk about. But right now... All I'm going to say is to you guys, you know, go out there, please, and check out the fight one more time. Check out the fight. And let's not take shit away from Jacobs, man. He's an excellent fighter, will be an excellent fighter. <clears throat> what Triple G has in store for himself and what Jacobs has in store for himself is something to look forward to, you know. All I know is that Canelo, that pussy-ass motherfucker, is not going to fight Triple G. People say, well, Triple G got exposed. Exposed how? Because he didn't knock up Jacobs out? He didn't knock Jacobs out? That's how he got exposed? Come on, motherfucker, stop. Being stupid, ignorant, and dumb. Canelo can't knock out Triple G. Whoever's saying he's going to knock him out, you're fucking crazy. You must be knocked out, motherfucker. How the hell are you going to say some shit like that? So let's be for real. Let's look at boxing. And let's see how things roll. You know, like I always said, man. You know that. Triple G, he bad. But guess what? Daniel Jacobs is also bad. So, you know, people, I will talk to you later. 
Hope you guys enjoy this shit. Don't get offended by this shit. And those who do get offended will fuck you. Don't listen to me no more. Don't see my videos no more. And as simple as that. You know, but I am not going to hold nothing back. Because I'm tired of reading shit, airing shit on YouTube. Dumb shit. You know, uh, you might word it right. You might think you word it right. I don't give a fuck, man. Just don't talk dumb shit that does not make any sense to me. So, I'll see you all around, man. Be good. And what? God bless.